So this weekend, the international rugby season kicks off good and proper with internationals all over the world. I mean, sure, the Bledisloe Cup has been going on for a while and the Tri-Nations is about to kick off as well. But up here in the north, we're finally going to get to see all of Europe's finest go head-to-head -head in the Autumn Nations Cup, even though it's going to finish in winter. I suspect it was an Irishman who had something to do with the naming of this competition, but that's by the by. But in keeping with the superhero rugby player thing that I've got going on lately, I tried to imagine which country is best represented by which superhero. But more specifically, which Avenger? Now, choosing the superheroes I wanted to use was relatively straightforward. But the hard part was trying to determine whose talents are best reflected by the teams on display. Like my missus, I overthought the hell out of this one, to the point where I almost was in danger of not getting this video out before kickoff. That being said, a couple were fairly obvious and straightforward to me. So I wanted Captain America for England. One striking parallel is the respective country's leadership's ability or inability to lead. But that's all just me being me. But I also decided that the red, white and blue connotations were pretty hard to ignore in relation to the Union Jack and the American flag. Thor was relatively straightforward as well. New Asgard in the uh, Endgame movie. It's St Abs on the east coast of Scotland, so I went with that. Iron Man? Now, Iron Man's one of my favourites, and since I live here in Wales, I made him my choice. Plus he's dead now, and the current state of Welsh rugby affairs appears to be on the same trajectory, albeit momentarily. I mean, don't take it too close to heart, but uh, the leadership around Welsh rugby at the moment seems to be dropping like flies as well. Spider-Man, now, Spider-Man was a head-scratcher, I'm not going to lie, but I then figured that because all the other home nations were along the top, I figured Ireland might as well be as well. The Black Panther, as we all know, Black Panther has become one of those phenoms made even more famous by the 
the death of their lead actor. But owing to the pigmentation of superiority displayed by the Fijians in comparison to their fellow competitors, it seemed a fairly obvious choice to marry the two together. I dare you to say that sentence again twice. Vision was another head-scratcher who ultimately didn't amount to much as an Avenger, and so the correlation between the Six Nations' perennial whipping toy and, and Vision having to be carried by the rest of his team in the Avengers movie, it kind of made up my mind for me. Once again, the red and blue of Doctor Strange and France seem to make sense. The French to me is always going to be the team that you write off at your own peril. But Doctor Strange willingly surrendered the Time Stone, and the French surrender is a pastime, so there we are. Now that leaves Georgia and the Jolly Green Giant. Historically, the Georgians are known for being huge, but youthful in terms of their knowledge of the game. Saying that, even in my rugby heyday, oh, I, I, just, I tell you, I dislike immensely the thought of tackling one of them. Let me know in the comments down below what you make of my choices and what you may have done differently. And for the ladies, I guess I'm going to have to do the same next week. So just give me some ideas of superheroines to use and I'll be back next week with a woman's version. Um, I don't do goodbyes, so uh, 